And once the contract is documented and agreed upon by all the parties, then they can independently work. They are not dependent on each other. So you can parallelize this plus the tools like Specmatic help us to build executable deliverable out of that contract. So when we talk about contract in terms of API, essentially we are talking about open API specification or Swagger specification. Now that is just a simple text file, that is the YAML file which talks about how that API looks like. But that is not sufficient. There needs to be a certain number of tests that we need to have. Unfortunately, today we have an approach where on a developer side we have unit tests and then integration tests and the workflow tests happen quite late in the release cycle. Where I like to personally follow fail fast approach. That means we need a methodology where we can shift left for our testing purpose so that we can fail faster. Any producer microservice is publishing set of APIs. Now that microservice need to have API tests which can be tested independent. So that when that service is built, I know my tests are working fine. But my tests are against what? They are against the contract that I have made available to consumer. So here, the step one is this contract allows me to test my producer against the contract that I have published. From consumer side, consumer is dependent on this contract. So if there is a change in the contract, the consumer services are going to break. And a lot of times I have seen in my experience, people spend on the integration tests or integration failures, which are a couple of days before the release. And then everything goes for a toss because you have identified this contract breach way late in the release cycle. And now both the teams are struggling. But if you have the contract driven development approach, then even a consumer team can rely on the same contract that they agreed upon, write their stubs, and if there is any break, if there is any breach in the contract, or there is a change in the contract, consumer team would know about it when they are developing the software, not when they are done with the development. So this way, the producer and consumers both can rely on the contract, do their development and testing independently, and you will have less surprises when you get into the integration step.